Wagwan fam, welcome back to the channel, Lawbrook Gaming, and as always, I'm your host, Lawbrook. Still here with Hogwarts, we just finished off one of the trials. We need to get to the three broomsticks and see what's happening over there. Let's check out our mail. See the class Please see me room. after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, <laughs> I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh. Focus potion is expensive. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I require focus potion. Maxima and a doers. Wise decision. 
Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Maybe I can brew up this potion of grass. Rebellion. Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulse so, I must know that you are prepared to handle it.
Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell. Half a bottle of flabbergasted leech stirred clockwise. Let's try and brew these potions. There we go. That is something seconds. Quite some time. seconds. Man, brewing takes some time, eh? Still my focus. But it's so expensive. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Used the light transfiguration. Okay, so we need over twelve hundred. For the focus Welcome. recipe. 
Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Yeah, 1200. We only had like 887. So, I think. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Let's attend B's class. It's the only thing we can do. At the moment. will get us closer. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. For now, sure. It seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Well, Don't worry Poppy. about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. There we go. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Let's give him some cobble. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think it's we can safely say that Gerald it. likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting! Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <coughs> Stupid thing. Oh. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you 
doing? Ugh, tus tus, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I need to talk to you. Come here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. Okay. I wouldn't take just anyone there. We're In going fact, into the forest. The first. What a really? total stranger. Well, thank you. I think Where beast lives. As I said, we think Great. alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking it? It really is much better if I just show you. All I have is quibbles don't worry, and a brush. Don't worry, there. It's just ahead. I'm playing this. Stand back. Nice. Oh yeah, 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 I need to kneel down, show it respect. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. 
Yes, sir. There we go. The bow. Pleasure to meet you. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Okay. That wasn't so bad. So, what did you think of High Wing? Beautiful. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers Pop are something of a in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to Calm down, Bobby. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. For sure. So, finally figured out how to get my broom. <laughs> there we go. So I think finally we can go deliver Fatima's order. And how far up can we go? Man, look at this. There's a couple of balloons. I think we get them whilst we're up here. Oh, 
man. This is so dope. Let's go do Fatima's delivery. Ooh. This is so cool. Got some enemies. Here we got some more balloons. Think let's start with this one. Now. Actually, a lot of enemies on the road. I don't think they want any beef with me. It's like a place right out of a storybook. That Pippin should have been here by now. It's Madame Luang. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> Not such chance. We'll just drink the merchandise, bro. That is shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that.
What do you have for sale? Doesn't have any recipes, bro. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I need recipes. If anything. Revelio. This dude's just entering someone's house and eating up all the food. Yeah. Let's get that for the fast travel. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. That's all I'll say. Just you. Rebellion. Couple of nice hidden gems here. Locked as well. Okay. Maybe we just do a fast travel. Yeah. Fast travel it is. Everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. 
Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. He gave me 500. How much do we need for this? 1200. Focus. Yeah. A wise decision. Thank you. Cool. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Nice. Objective met. I think that's where we're going to leave with this part. As always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your time. Skulls.